Hi guys, welcome back to Dad. In this video today, we're going to be doing the configuration for the um, 3 inch Apex and we're going to be doing the first flights. So stay there. So first things first guys, we're gonna do the configuration for this little three inch micro build that I did. Hopefully you caught that video, we'll link it up here, whichever side it appears on. And we are gonna to have to get into this, so we're gonna to have to take the props off. Always take your props off please if you're gonna get in to do some configuration work. And we're gonna take the top plate off so we can access the um, Vista a little bit better and give it a little bit of air because we are gonna to have to update this and link it to the DJI Assistant app because it is brand new. It needs registering with that app, probably needs a firmware update as well, and we also need to link it to the goggles. And then after that, we will get in and we will look at the configuration of the Mamba stack that's in here. If you caught the build, you remember me saying this is one that I've used before, so it is pretty much set up already, but I will flash up the um, configurations that I used on it and you can copy those and follow along if you wish. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Here we are guys, top plate off, all the props off, so very safe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the Cadex Vista unit to the DJI Assistant application, because we're gonna need to register it with them, DJI, you know, and then we're probably gonna need a firmware update on here as well. So we need a battery for this, and I've taken the top off to give it a bit of air. We're gonna plug the battery in, plug the USB cable in, and then we're just gonna let it do its thing. There we go, it's been recognized. Air unit, start activation. I have to log in, so I will blank this out, sorry guys. It's a lot of stuff you have to confirm on DJI. There we go, activating. Ah, complete, so we've registered the actual, Calix Vista's been registered to my account. We don't wanna take a survey and we will confirm because there is a new firmware. So that's just gonna do its thing now. I'm gonna let it run and I'll cut back as soon as it's finished. There we go guys, that is all updated. And I can tell you now, it's not too bad, but it does get pretty hot, that Vista unit. So I'm gonna plug the battery for a minute. Let it cool down. Because the next things we are gonna do are, we're gonna look at the, um, Tango 2, we're gonna look at that, and we're gonna look at the actual configuration on the Mamba stack. And like I said, this isn't an existing, well, it was an existing Mamba stack I was using somewhere else, so I have got the model already set up in the actual Tango. If you don't know what to do with the Tango, I've got another video about that, please check it out there. So let's get into this Mamba stack and connect. So like I said, this is pretty much set up already, ready to go, there she is. Uh, you can see on screen that she moves all correctly and no problems. So my ports, these are the ports that I've got set up. I know that'll be set up correctly because I know it worked last time I used this um, stack. So those are exactly what I need. So do copy those if you need to. Configuration, this is set up uh, exactly how I should need it as well. So let me scroll through that for you. This is your crossfire receiver here. Make sure it's on crossfire. And something to be aware of, arming, I always change this to 180, because if you don't do that, and you crash, and you've got flip over after crash, you won't be able to do that because it won't arm at all, and you won't be able to flip over whatsoever. So that's something to be aware of. All these other settings are pretty much standard. I leave them on. Uh, this is one I set the RX to beep, so I use I use the actual motors for a buzzer instead of an actual external little buzzer that you can put on there. So there you go, and those are all, I just leave those on. Power of battery, I basically leave alone. PID tuning, I this is on a 4.2 build, as you can see here, so it's beta flight 4.2.2 actually. And I leave these all standard for the moment, so I leave all of those standard, as it doesn't fly too bad. Now, rates are the thing that you want to really look at, and these are my exact rates that I fly every quad on. 
and they're not really, really beefed up. One big thing that I learned or lesson that I learned is don't go crazy about your rates. Don't think you're all Mr. Steel. Don't think you're Drib or whoever you are. Get or find your rates that suit yourself or suit you and you will fly a lot better. Don't overdo your rates thinking you, you can do whatever you like because you can't because you're going to lose control of that quad and you're going to basically fly really twitchy because your quad's going all over the place. So I sort of dropped my rates down quite a while ago and I think I fly a bit better. So those are all my rates anyway, there they are. Filter settings, these are the filters, pretty much standard again, I haven't really adjusted them. So they should be okay. That's what's going on there. Receiver, let's do that now. We're gonna have to plug a battery back in. So plug the battery back in. Turn that controller on. Welcome to Tango 2. Sweet warning. And it's an old Cinebook build, so you can see it just connected straight away. And just to make sure, throttle is throttle, roll is roll, your is your, and pitch is pitch. Yep, so everything's in the correct place. That is working fine. Also, sorry, just to point out, if you're having trouble with your stick positions, I do have another video, it will be linked up here. Do check it out as well. Modes, these are basically all the modes I have. I have my arm switch. Sorry, that wasn't my arm, that's my flip over out of crash. This is my arm switch right here. If I knew what I was doing, it would help, wouldn't it, guys? Whew. So that's my arm. That's my buzzer, which is done off the motors. And this is my flip over after crash. And those are basically the only three that I ever use. And I fly complete acro. So that is it. That's all set, ready to go. That works absolutely fine. Uh, motors, working back to OSD. It's basically, I use the RSI indication. I use a timer and I use a battery display. And that is all I use on the OSD. And the only thing we need to look at is we need to look at these motors. We need to make sure that the motors are spinning in the correct uh, correct way, so the correct orientation. And we're going to do that just by using the diagram that's on screen there. And we're going to point the quad facing up as it shows. We're going to sign our life away because we have no props on, so it'll be absolutely fine. Just by that. And then we're going to do these one by one. So this is motor free, actually. So let's start here. Motor 3 is going to need altering. Motor 1 is this one. Go that way, sorry. Motor 1 is going to need altering. Motor 2 is going to need altering. Motor 3, like I said, does need altering. I will just check I got it right. Yes, and motor 4. Needs altering. So basically, they all need altering. So I've really messed those up, haven't I? And what we're going to do to actually change those, we're going to use BS Heli. So we're in BL Heli, and what we're going to do is we're going to read the setup, and it should be a very simple process just to reverse the orientation of these motors. They spin the opposite directions, and they'll be right for us. So here we are. Here's each ESC one, two, three, and four. And we know all of them have to be actually altered. So this says normal. We're going to reverse it. This one says reversed. We're going to normal it. This one says reversed. We're going to normal. This one says normal. We're going to reverse it. And then we're going to press the right setup. Going to let that write the setup. We go back to beta flight and we'll just make sure that the orientation is correct. And then we're pretty much done, guys. And we'll go out and do the first flights. So that is done. So let's disconnect. Back over to beta flight, connect, back to the motor, motors even, sign our life away, and we're going to do one, which is here, that's correct, two, which is this one, that's correct, three, which is this one, that's correct, four, which is this one, and that's correct. There we go. So really easy and simple to actually 
uh, make your motors spin the opposite way and make sure they're spinning correctly. I have been in the field before and my quad's basically just been trying to fly into the ground and I've been wondering why I haven't been taking off. It's a very easy thing to overlook if you're doing your own build for the first time. So do make sure you check your motor's directions. That's it guys. So I'm going to unplug this battery before I overheat and explode. Disconnect that. Disconnect this. Pull that out. And there, we are ready. So that's my whole configuration done. That's the motor spinning the correct way. I'm gonna get the props on, get the top on, and I will see you in the UK countryside. See you in a minute. Here we are, UK countryside like I promised you, and we're here to do the first flight of my little apex. So we're gonna get this up in the air and see how it does right now. So stay there, guys. Well, I think she flies pretty well. I think I might destroy the battery doing this. She's definitely light, very agile. Very agile. So yeah, sorry, I'm concentrating on flying, not talking. I think I might be destroying the battery a little bit. Bit of battery draw on there, but it's okay. She flies nice, a bit of prop wash, quite a bit of prop wash actually, so I might have to do some tuning. But yeah, she's really light, really quick, nimble. Yeah, I like her. Might have to do another battery. Okay, let's change out the battery. Well, actually, let's just keep going for a bit. Really cheap, these batteries. Yeah, she's really light, really quick. There's loads of prop wash though. So it definitely needs a bit of tuning. But she's agile, turns quick. Probably too quick. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in before I ruin this battery. So it's a three minute flight. I think we can squeeze another flight in for you guys, can't we? Or is it just for me? <laughs> wow, she screams.
bit of battery sag. I like it. Great fun. Very quick, very zippy, or zappy, I don't know what you want to call it. Agile. I've got to bring it in, can destroy in this battery. Bit of battery sag. Yeah, great fun. I have to see if I can find a battery that lasts a little bit longer. Maybe I'll see what a Lion battery is like on here. But they're really heavy. So it might not be any good. Yeah, bringing it in before I destroy that battery. Yeah, loads of prop wash though. So I would have to do something about that. So if I can do a bit of tuning. Yeah, really like that. Great fun. Nothing wrong with that build. So there you have it guys, that was the Apex configuration and the first flight. So what have I got to say about it? It's pretty sweet. It was, um, yeah, nothing wrong with that build at all. A uh, little bit of prop wash maybe, but that is about it. So I suggest you buy one, you buy the components and you make it because it is a great little quad. If you're after one of these, right here guys, follow the videos, make it, you'll be very happy. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed that little video. Smash that subscribe, hit the thumbs up, do the bell notification, let's keep on doing these. I'll see you again, cheers.